Good morning, folks. Here we go again. Our subject for the day is the stand-up forklift with a broken right hand side drive unit. So what I'm going to do is to replace it. Come on, Fox. Follow me. This is the one that I'm going to replace, as you can see. It's moving freely while the other side is tight. Just, be, just because the gears that's inside the drive unit got stripped. So the first thing we shall do is take the, the drive tires off. But prior to that, what I did I jack up the power unit and put it in blocks so it's not gonna move whatever you're gonna do with the drive unit just for the safety sake okay now let's start with this this is this is one of the tools that I'm going to use I made this just to hold whatever heavy stuff that I'm going to take off the truck in order for it to be safely removed okay now what I'm going to do is insert it okay Insert it underneath this thing. Okay. Jack a little, jack it up a little bit so it's going to be snug. Now, I'm going to use my battery operated impact tool, this one here. To remove the lug nuts I've already loosened up the lug nuts so it's gonna be easier to remove okay I'm gonna prepare some tools Okay, all I need is a three-quarter inch or 19 mm okay now I'm gonna stop start taking it off on side all right this is what the problem is you see okay now I'm gonna uh, drain the oil of this gearbox start loosening up the mounting bolts before draining the oil I'm gonna clean this 
surroundings first. Everything can be really go smoothly once that you clean it. Wipe it off. that it's free of oil I'm going to start loosening up the mounting bolts just like this one this 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 here and also the, the other two is here, here and here okay now I'm going to drain the oil of the drive unit. The tools that I'm going to use is an Allen socket wrench, ratchet handle, and an extension, 3H drive extension. Okay, there you go. Now let's wait till it's done. Okay, folks, I'm going to end this chapter because it's lunch time, so we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, folks, let's do the second part of this video. Follow me. What I'm going to do now is to remove the Allen, Allen screw that holds the drive unit. gonna do this one at a time the 
let's leave it like that for now my camera is a little bit bumpy since I don't have the tripod with me Okay, now I'm gonna use the jack again that I made to support the drive unit. Okay.
Okay, I got all the bolts out. Now what I'm trying to do is to pry off the power unit. I'm gonna pry that out. Now I'm going to remove the power, the drive unit from the forklift by jack, jacking the end of this drive unit to pop it out. Okay, here we go. There, all right, now it's off. I'll bring it back down, all right. Remember, don't jack it up too much or you're gonna break this hub, okay? Just enough to pop it out. Okay, now, I'm going to remove the remaining two bolts. And guide the drive unit out. Okay. This time I'm gonna use the pry bar to slowly bring it out. All right. There you go. See? Okay, now the drive unit have been separated. So I'm going to take this thing out of the way. See how easy it is to have this tool. Uh, this is not a crown spons sponsored tool, but I made it for myself to make my job easier. At the same time, it's safer than lifting it by yourself. Because if you're not careful, you're gonna end up with a back injury. So. Now I'm going to remove the drive unit of the jack so I can use it to support the brand new replacement drive unit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is clean this thing up. and scrape off the remaining gasket the sealer so far it's pretty clean just want to be sure that there's no remaining gasket going to impede the sealing process. Okay.
you know, if you want to learn how to fix forklift, you can enroll at Crown Training Program, which is available for everyone. And if you are with the company, you can tell your supervisors to enroll you at our training program. This will help a lot improve your production okay guys now that I have the thing clean I am gonna open up the box of the new drive unit and that's that's the one it's inside of the box uh, follow me okay guys what I'm going to do is try to save this track so that I can reuse it to pack the old drive unit and take it to our shop or send it back to the factory and have it remanufactured and what I mean is remanufacture this we're gonna take it apart and inspect if there's any defective parts more than the the one that's bad and then replace it with a brand new one and once that came out of the factory it's just like a brand new equipment okay let's unbox this thing Okay, this is the brand. This is the uh, remanufactured unit. It, it looks like brand new. You can tell the difference. Okay guys, here it is. This is what we call renewed parts. Certified renewed parts by Crown. The factory renewed or remanufactured. Like that. Just like brand new. Okay, there it is. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Yeah, it comes with the new plugs, new breather. And this is the side glass. It comes with it. The sealer. And look at the front side. Just like brand new. But actually, it is this thing is certified renewed by far the crown by the factory, by our factory. Because if you will buy this part brand new, the price is going to be twice as much. And this old part that came off the truck will be sent back to the factory and once that this thing came out of the factory it's gonna be 
looking like brand new in and out you cannot tell all right okay let's start putting this thing back together okay guys i'm going to install the new drain plug Cover don't go in. Okay, the next thing to do is to install the breather cup. Okay guys, now I got it on the jack. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna add some sealant over there. Now I remove it from the jack and put it on the ground so that it's gonna be easier to apply the sealant. Okay guys, let's start applying the sealant. Okay, now need to put some sealant around the bolt holes. See, just put a little bit in there. You don't need to make it look nice because once that is mounted it will be flattened and distributed evenly.
oke okay. let's put a cross line over here And here too, since this is the lower portion of the drive unit, there's a, just in case it will not seal properly, we are safe that there will be no leak at all. Okay guys. Now, we get to wait for a little bit. Well, I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm, go I'm going to go outside and get some synthetic gear oil. Okay, folks. I'm going to start tightening up the mounting bolts for this. This time, we're gonna do the tightening of the bolts in sequence. Now all I need to do is turn the bolts to factory specs. Okay guys, I got all the bolts torqued. But I was not able to show it to you since I can do it with one hand. At the same time, I don't have the tripod to hold my camera. Okay. Now, the next step is to install the side glass right here. And the side glass side glass is this one. Okay. Right. Okay guys, I got the side glass installed. Now, I'm gonna add a gear oil until it's at the middle of the side glass.
with you guys. Now I have a gear box filled up with oil. Now what I'm going to do is to put the cover the filler or the filler plug into it and then install the drive tire and test drive the truck. Folks, that finished the job and thank you for watching. Don't forget to press the bell for updated videos and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.